going guys, Shardbox here. Normally we focus on avatar tricks, but in this video we are going to focus on website tricks. In this video I'm going to show you a load of tricks and glitches which you guys can do on the Roblox website, either to make your Roblox profile look interesting or to save money when buying anything like hats, shirts, stuff like that. It's actually really easy to do and this video is hopefully going to help you guys out and show you guys some cool tricks that you can go ahead and try right now. So the first trick was actually sent to me by Jaden. Um, he found this kind of cool glitch on Roblox profiles and basically you can wear hats and basically what this lets you do is wear a hat on your avatar but on your profile it says you're not wearing anything this is kind of like a cool trick maybe if people see your profile with this glitch on they might think you're a hacker or something like that let's go over to the Roblox website and let's try this glitch so this should be like incredibly easy to do all you have to do is go over to your avatar editor and you have to find something that you want to wear um, let's just try it with this plush noob and what you've got to do is just keep clicking on it just a random amount of times and then click off and sometimes it's actually going to be displaying on your avatar. Let's see if we can get it working. Sometimes I can try it with something else. There you go. So you just have to click it like a ton of random times and eventually it's going to display. So on your profile, your avatar is still going to be wearing this um, hat or whatever you have selected. But when you click on show items, it can't be anywhere to see. Now you can do this glitch with shirts, faces. I don't know about gears. I guess we could try it quickly. This is actually going to be interesting to see if it works with gears. Let's give it a try on the shrunken head. Can we actually get this equipped? Keep in mind, if you wear anything else on your avatar, it might disappear and this doesn't work in games. But if you have a limited item and you wanted to sell it, but you wanted to still keep it on your profile, this is definitely something that you could do. Okay, so there you go, we got it working. Is this gonna be the same with gear as well? I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it is. You can equip gears and um, they don't actually show up um, as you're wearing it. So the next trick is how to find the latest Roblox items. This is where I get many of my video ideas from. All you have to do is click on all featured items, recently updated, and then just click on show and available items. And once you clicked on this, you can see everything that was recently updated. This is how you find content deleted stuff, event items, stuff that's only just been updated. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I use this every day. This is the first thing I do when I log onto Roblox, just in case there's like a new item I want to buy or if there's some kind of glitched item that I could possibly make a video on or something like that. I think this is quite a useful trick. It's incredibly easy to do um, but it's just something that I find very useful. The next one is how to get money off anything on the Roblox website. You can save a lot of Robux by doing this. The only thing you have to do is remember that it's actually something you can do. That's the problem I have. I always forget that this actually exists and that's why I never end up saving money. But what you want to do is find something on the Roblox website that you want to purchase. Um, obviously, the more expensive thing you purchase, the more money you're going to get back. Let's say I want to purchase something like Sinister. Um, let's just say this is a thousand Robux or something like that or a thousand and one it doesn't matter all you have to do is just type in the price so this one is one thousand and one and then just do a divided by ten and this is going to give you the ten percent price so I've actually got a game called ten percent off all catalog items and if we copy the ID of this item and buy it through my game we're actually going to save a hundred robux on each sale so I'm basically buying this for nine hundred instead of a thousand and if you don't have much robux then this is actually quite a good deal let's buy it now so I can show you guys Guys. So all you want to do is go up to the top of the page and at the top of the page on all Roblox items it actually has an ID that looks exactly like this. We just want to select it and do right click and copy. So this is my game. I will leave a link to it in the description. I'm pretty sure I put it on a recent video as well. Um, but if you join this and you actually paste in the ID and then you buy the item, you're actually going to get 10% off. It's really good. So this face that I'm just about to buy is going to cost me 900 Robux instead of 1,000. The only trick you have to wait, I think it was about two days to actually get the 100 Robux back. Um, so you will notice the 1,000 come out of your account. But when you wait a couple of days, you're actually going to get some of the money back. So click in the box, press Control V on your keyboard, press Enter on your keyboard. It's going to say, would you like to buy it for 1,001 Robux? All you have to do is click on Buy Now, um, click on OK once you purchased it, and we're actually going to get 900 Robux. And well, we're going to save 100, so that would have only cost us 900. We're going to get our 100 Robux back in a couple of days. This is the best way to save Robux on all of your items. 
The next trick I want to show you guys is actually deleting UGC items. Now you can't delete normal hats, but if you have a UGC item that you don't like, you can actually click on the three dots and you're actually able to permanently delete this from your inventory. And if you click yes, it's gone. Now the only problem is you don't get any kind of refund. That's it, this is now gone from my inventory. If I want to get it back, I actually have to spend 50 Robux. If you have something you really don't like, I don't like hate this, I was just using it for an example, but let's say you have something you wish you never but um, you can actually delete it, which is pretty cool. And if you guys ever think about buying limiteds, Roblox limiteds have been kind of cheap recently. Um, always make sure to check a website like Rollymon's, go to the deal section, and then just go on lowest wrap. Um, that's what I would always use if you're looking to buy a limited. You never know, you might find something on here fairly cheap and you will be able to snipe it. Obviously, make sure you hide like projected items just so you don't buy something which is just overpriced and not worth it. Um, so let's see, is there anything that I want to buy on here? Um, I guess we could buy something. Let's just see, uh, <laughs> what should I buy it for some Robux? Maybe we can buy this Canada baseball cap. Well, it was Canada Day um, a couple of days ago. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and buy this. Why not? I think that's a reasonable offer. Yeah, not too bad. We didn't recently sold for 500. So um, yeah, could be worse, I guess. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much it for this quick video. Roblox website glitches and tricks that you guys might not know about. I'm gonna make some more videos about the Roblox website. I've got a pretty interesting one coming soon. Of like problems with the website that's kind of interesting to watch make sure to check that out when it gets uploaded but yeah thanks for watching i do have a star code it's just shark blocks if you guys could enter this when buying robux robux premium that sort of thing that would actually be so sick thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one